ponytail for a fusion water pump the external one i believe this model also has an internal water pump on well let me show you guys this one the water pumps right down there in that area the internal ones on the pulley side the dry belt side internally I'll show you what this thing looked like i could be dead wrong but from my understanding that's what it has this little guy right here is your water pump external water pump got the pump the gasket and a new stretch fit belt anytime you change out these you want to or take out these belts you want to put a new belt on there let's get it all right <clears throat> water pump is out that's where it lives at right in there this gasket looks hideous I hope that was an OEM one. Uh, either way, there's an old water pump right here. You hear that? Look at that bearing. You hear that bearing? That's a no bueno, people. That's bad. I like marbles. There goes a new one. No noise. Hey, my God. <laughs> nah. We're gonna get this done though. After I install this, clean this surface off and install this pump. It'll be good, so smooth sailing again. Let's get it. All right, the poor man's method of uh, putting the stretch fit belt on. Stretch fit belt on. See all these zip ties? So I'm rotating the engine clockwise on the uh, passenger side. This is rotating counterclockwise the cam is so as i'm rotating it this side is literally going like this and around and slowly pulling this belt on to this pulley and onto this pulley to where it'll be on there it's almost there probably got a couple more rotations and that's what i mean when i say rotations get the car jacked up i'm at the car oh, i just fell 18 millimeter bolt right there and you turn it clockwise and that it rotates it's going to pull that cam counterclockwise and when that does that with the zip ties on it it pulls the belt onto the pulleys like it needs to be poor man's method without that special tool the special tool definitely makes it easier but it can be done with zip ties too don't knock it till you try it it's got done new water pump is installed new stretch belt is installed everything's back buttoned up hooked up there is a bleeder right there that hex right there, the bottom right of the screen. So you fill the reservoir up, fill the reservoir up, and you open that bleeder, I'm talking about up, until you see coolant come out of that. And once that happens, you know, you filled up the whole radiator and everything like that. That way the water pump's not running dry when you first start it up. Now we're gonna start the car up with the cap open. That way we can bleed out all the air. Put the heater on, let everything circulate, and we should be good to go. And that is a job well done.